covered up. So um, for me, it'll be TQL uh, equipment arrival, um, pitch one prep, and POA removal. Dan, what you got? Um, frost watch, taking care of practice, and then probably rotary P2 on top of getting the covers prepped. Colin? Got practice, fully solo, and no AP2. Are we gonna try to get P1 mode today? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be able to squeeze it in this morning, but. No, not with the frost. Um, so the rotary pitch two might be rotary pitch one, depending on what type of practice they have. Um, and again, we'll push everything. We might just do 100% of pitch one work today. So basically, um, what we're doing is removing poa annua, which is a weed in our situation. Uh, the reason we're removing it is because it has very shallow roots, uh, which is really poor uh, traction for our athletes. And we wanna make sure that this surface is as safe as possible. So this little seed head is what uh, lets us know that it's trying to reproduce and take over and we don't want that to happen. I think going into Chicago and getting a win speaks a lot to the leadership within the team, being able to rally the troops and really get everyone together on the same page and battle together and earn a result, uh, despite all the challenges that come with playing on the road in MLS. You know, it's always hard going on the road. No matter where we go, I think it's obviously we want to come back with three points. It's very difficult, but but always it's the same. Whether it's the local or the visitor, the player always wants to win. And the important thing is not to lose points. Come into Soldier Field. They spin. Nolan's been put out. Nolan has been put out. Welcome everyone. Obviously an, an exciting day for FC Cincinnati, being able to add DeAndre Yedlin to the group. Um, a player whose career clearly speaks for itself. Um, a player whose quality, uh, experience, athleticism, leadership are all welcome additions to our, to our team. Um, but one thing that, that kept coming back when we did our homework, speaking to players, coaches, teammates on DeAndre is, the person, the character, the, the father, um, the son, you know, all the things that we really value, uh, we think are just going to be invaluable to our group. Um, so with that, I would love to welcome DeAndre Yedlin uh, to FC Cincinnati. You know, I've been around the world playing, um, and I, I just look at every new place that I go as a new experience. So. Um, you know, I just try to be as open-minded as I can. I spoke to uh, I spoke to Matt, I spoke to Miles, and they had nothing but good things to say. Obviously, when I was here with Miami, it's quite quite hostile to play here. When I was here with the national team, is unbelievable support for us. Um, so, um, you know, that was first and foremost as a player. I think it's super important. Um, second, um, just a stadium in general. You don't see a lot of enclosed stadiums in. Uh, in the MLS for some reason. So uh, to have a stadium that it, it has a little bit more of a European feel, I think, which creates a better atmosphere. Um, and then um, just the pitch, the, the field is incredible. Um, you know, you don't get that everywhere. So um, I'm, I'm excited to be able to, to experience that. Tom Glenn and Kamikowski back with you at TQL Stadium where both sides have received their final instructions and we are just about set for FC Cincinnati and CF Monterey in the CONCACAF Champions Cup on this Thursday night.
out of the 18, drops it back to Vasquez. Vasquez turns and shoots and scores. Brandon Vasquez, in his return to TQL Stadium, gets on the board with a first half strike. Hemos jugado un gran partido y, y no poder haber sacado el resultado creo que es muy frustrante. There's some times when you're the better team and you don't score a goal or you end in a tie and it always, it's unfortunate. I think that's part of soccer. El partido de DC primero fue muy duro porque no nos conocíamos bien con los compañeros. Eh, nos costó un poco como equipo encontrarnos, pero, pero bueno, con el correr de los partidos eh, nos vamos conociendo más y, y estamos mejor prácticamente en la cancha. It was frustrating for everybody, mostly you know the attackers because that's what we get paid to do is to score goals. Third time in four home games this year, the Orange and Blue de, failed to score. No convertir goles que hace que el partido no salga a nuestro favor y, y, y nos duele mucho perder así de esa forma y haber jugado tan bien eh, nos duele mucho más. You know, I, I never thought, you know, as a kid that I'd be saying that I was living in Newcastle or living in Istanbul. My daughter was born in Istanbul. The main thing, you know, eventually when I leave this game that I'll take from, you know, this experience that I've had just with soccer is the the opportunity to see so many different cultures and, you know, be around so many different people. I don't think a lot of people get the opportunity. Jugar en la cancha de ellos con sus fanáticos, un partido así de CONCACAF es muy, muy lindo y se siente que es donde, donde nos, nos lleva a otro nivel, ¿no? Ese, ese gol de ellos fue el, me dio el golpe final porque estábamos ahí de remontarlo. Pero bueno, son cosas del fútbol que pasan. I think they were they were in the perfect situation for for them. You know, they can sit back a little bit and try to counter us where we have to chase the game. Uh, it was perfect for them. So, all credit to them. They did a, they did a great job and obviously they're in you know, the next rounds for, for a reason, because they're a very good team. After some disappointing results, the match in New England provided an opportunity to really bounce back and get back to the kind of performances and outcomes that FC Cincinnati is more accustomed to. He brings to this team, I'd like to say he brings the best out in his teammates and brings the fear into the opposition players. When I took the ball, I talked to Lucas, I said, Voy a ver si hay alguien atrás de la barrera tirado. Yo ya estaba decidido que si no había nadie le iba a pegar por abajo. home games you know, it's our fortress our home we just want to give them a great show and win the game for them anytime we get the opportunity to play then i'm happy and it was an opportunity to send a message back to the league estamos tratando 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 intentando mucho de conseguir el gol momento ver a todos los fanáticos gritando mi gol, eh, lo estaba esperando mucho y, y tenía muchas ganas de hacerlo.
today. If we keep the game, we score another point, another point, now we're the best. Let's show again why we're the best and keep moving forward. Come on. Yeah, right, right, yes, guys. Hey, together, buddy. Together. Yeah, together. That's how I want to play from foot. Be aggressive, whether we're home or away. You know, make the team kind of change to us rather than us change to them in the situation. Penalty coming for Charlotte as Gianni is taken down inside of the 18. Gianni strikes it and nets it. Charlotte has the lead at home. Estamos en esa en ese momento del partido donde creíamos que podía y quedó visto que intentamos hasta el último minuto de poder hacer el gol. For me, it's just I want to go in every game and I want to help the team in, in any way I can. Game over. Now Cincinnati, can they get something going in transition? Valenzuela storming up the near side. He finds Sergio Santos in the 18. And there's his cross and it's made. As I was coming in, I saw Boop coming kind of the other way. So I was like, if I can just try to get this anywhere in front of goal, then hopefully he'll, he'll be there to finish it. Anyone as Boo Penza rescues a point for the supporters shield holders.